Hello and welcome to Matalan Presents The Show with me, Denise Van Outen. It's a brand new season and we've got all the latest essential Matalan must-haves and top tips to help you get the most out of your wardrobe and home. Coming up on the show... London Fashion Week is here again, so Look Magazine's fashion news editor, Maxine Eggenberger, is here to guide us through the top trends to try this spring. And talking of trends, what's new in the world of interiors? Ideal Home Magazine's deputy editor, Jane Akers, reveals all and shows us how to lighten up our lounges for spring. Plus, I'm let loose on the fashion rails to choose my pick of the new season's wardrobe essentials. As always, we'd love to hear what you have to say about the show. So get in touch and make sure you're following us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook to stay up to date with this season's key pieces. Right, let's kick off with the show in style. It's time for fashion. It's London Fashion Week season again. So as the fashionistas look ahead to the autumn winter collections on the runways, we turn our attention to what's hot right now. So have the spring summer trends forecast on the runways last September filtered down to buy. Look Magazine's fashion news editor Maxine Eggenberger is here to tell us all. Welcome to the show, Maxine. Thanks for having me. So tell me, London Fashion Week, do you love it or do you hate it? I bet you love it. I love it. It's such an important part of my job, but it's probably one of the best bits. It's great, obviously, to see what the designers have come up with and concocted um, and what we're going to be wearing for the next six months. But a big part of it is the street style. So itself. not just looking at people on the catwalk, you look at the people that are turning up and sitting oh, in the audience. Oh, definitely. Yeah, it's quite a spectacle. Everyone comes in their best outfits. It's really thought out and it's just amazing to see what they're wearing. And how does everything make that transition from the catwalk into the stores, the clothes that we see to buy? I mean, everything that you do see in the high street has come from the catwalk in some way. Um, it could be something like a gorgeous Erdem dress that's got all this rose print embroidery. We might see that six months down the line with the embroidery on a jacket or on a bag or something like that. We're just kind of picking up details here and there, but making it accessible to everyone. Talking of embroidery, you've got embroidery on your I top. I do, yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? I'll show you. I love this. It's yeah. a really nice fit as well. It's beautiful. One of the biggest trends this season is the folk trend, which kind of marries in this embroidery. But I just love this blouse. I just think if you're going to buy one thing this season, it has to be an embroidered blouse. And yeah, I've just paired it with these really nice jeans the indigo is really flattering. I love the colour. But I also really like the little rips. It kind of just makes it a little bit edgier, a bit cooler. A bit cooler. Exactly. It's an update on your staples. So, yeah, I love this look. And your shoes are really nice I as know, well. They're just gorgeous. I love the block heel. So easy to walk in. And the town colour goes with everything. Yeah, so, yeah. and you could also wear this top, couldn't you? It's like a smock top. You could wear it with um, a sandal as well if you wanted to, if you wanted oh, to have flats on. Yeah. So we've got embroidery there. We've got floral. What else is big on the catwalk? Another huge trend, and one of my favourites, is utility. So it's all about kind of tailored pieces that have almost a safari kind of edge. The colour palette's really neutral, like beige and khaki, so it goes with every kind of skin tone that you can throw at them. But yeah, it's just really cool for work as well, because you can use like a khaki shirt to kind of dress up your office attire, or you could wear it with like kind of relaxed trousers and sandals. So yeah, yeah really, you can put really a key. bit of a twist on it, can't you? We've got a lovely Definitely. model here, Tanya, oh, and great. she's got the utility trousers on, yeah. which is the khaki which we've been talking about. Exactly. No, they're really, really cool, and with the side pocket, because it just kind of really nods to that. I like the fact they're so design. slim as well. So slim, so flattering, but also the little seam detail, I don't know if you can see it there, it just makes it a really flattering fit. But I love how also how we've kind of incorporated another trend with this really flattering top. It's kind of got the cold shoulder detail that we've seen on the catwalk, but spliced to the elbow, so it just makes it a lot more feminine as well, so you can really make this trend work for you. Looks good on you, Tanya. I'm taking mm -hmm. that off your back later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much. Right, colours this season. What are the big colours? Yes. We mentioned khaki. Yes. What else? Another huge, huge colour, and it was a bit unexpected, was orange. But what I really like about it is like these terracotta, really earthy, spicy shades. And yeah, I just think it really warms up the complexion. It's just such a nice colour. Do you know, that's the whole reason why I chose this. I wanted yeah. to wear it because, first of all, I love the knit on it and it's really, really comfortable. Yeah. It's got the cold shoulder as well, so it's nice and airy. But it's a really warm colour, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, it's gorgeous. And yeah, it suits blonde hair, it suits brunettes, it suits everyone, so give it a go. Oh. Brilliant. Now, as always, we'd love to show you the latest looks for the little ones in our lives. So how can we add a touch of Fashion Week fabulousness to our kids' wardrobes? What do we do? Basically, I think it's about getting trend-led pieces that you can mix in with their existing wardrobes, so their jeans, their trainers, whatever, but finding something that's really special. Kids love to dress up. I've got a 10-year-old brother. He loves to, like, embrace fashion, so it's about finding pieces that they're going to feel are really special. So let's just have a little look and see what we have here. Oh, these are great. This is all the trends we've been talking about. We've got the car key there. We've got the folk embroidery, haven't we? Yeah, it's so, so cute. And it's kind of like taking the trends that we wear. So you've got the exaggerated pom-poms. You've got everything like that and the tassels. It's just beautiful. I know you've got the cute little suit here, haven't you? I'd love oh, to see it. Oh, I do. It. I'll show you. It's adorable. I would wear it if they made it my size. 
This is so How cool. Cute Look at the colours in that. I know, it's so adorable, isn't it? You've got the kind of really sweet little mirror details here. You've got a little pom-pom stitch, the pinks. I just love it. I just think it's so cute. And I think little girls are just going to love to wear they that. They will love it. I would love to love wear that. that. OK, let's have a look. Let's see what else is trendy for kids this season. Oh, look at her. I'm sorry. Oh, How adorable. I know. She is the sweetest. Those tiny little jeans are just so cute. I love little girls in jeans. Yeah. So love lots it. of embroidery. What about the boys, though, what they're wearing? You said you've got a 10-year-old brother. Yes, and he loves, loves, loves fashion. Basically, it's about, again, as I said before, taking their skater jeans, what they love to wear, but mixing it with really trend-led pieces. So I've actually got something to show you. Again... Mm -hmm. Again, that colour, the big on the catwalk. Nodding to the utility trend, it's great. But then you've just got these really cute little badges. And it Fabulous. is quite lightweight as well, so it's going to last them all through summer. So, yeah. Great. Love Thank it. you so much, Maxine. We've no excuse now not to look good this season, have we? On with the show. And are you thinking about revamping the interior of your house this spring? I know I am. Well, look no further. It's time for Make My House a Home. For many of us, spring is the time we turn our attention to refreshing our homes. But when it comes to interior design, it's all about striking a balance between reflecting your own personal taste, what styles and trends are available in store to buy, and of course, your budget. Here to reveal how we can create the dream home you've always wanted without breaking the bank is Idle Homes Deputy Editor Jane Akers. Welcome to the show, Jane. Thank you very much. You know, I'm going to start with saying I love Idle Home magazine. Oh, that's fab. I do. Thanks. I read it religiously and it's my bedtime reading. I literally, I'm in bed at night just before I go to sleep. I have a little flick through and then I start thinking, oh, I want to change this in my home. I want to change that in my home. Oh, that's so great to know. I'm so glad you're a fan. I love it. So what should you consider when you're changing rooms in your home? What are the key things? Well, say, for example, if you were going to do like a spring refresh or something like that. Which is what I want to do right now. OK, all right. So one of the things you could do is maybe repaint the room, give it a fresh coat of paint. You know, don't underestimate what a massive change that will make. Um, another thing you can do is you can change throws on your sofas, you know, like the heavy winter throws, and you can change them for lighter ones, maybe inject a bit of floral pattern in there. Um, also change cushions. Oh, I'm a big cushion fan. Yeah, I love cushions as The well. thing is, I get so attached to my cushions that I find it hard to lose them to get new ones. You but you should really, more. shouldn't you? Exactly, add more. <laughs> <laughs> Put them in your bedroom or change them, change them to another room. But I'm looking around, and for me, I can see a nod to sort of tribal prints. Is that big? Absolutely. That's a trend that we're seeing a lot of this year. It's quite a monochromatic scheme, but there's lots of um, neutral, um, natural elements in there, like charcoal and taupe colours and woods and things like that too. And um, if you have a look at these cushions here, um, the, the patterns are geometric and there's also lots of ikats there too. But can we do, say, tribal prints in the bedroom? Does it work in a bedroom? Yeah, absolutely. Bed linen, maybe sort of tropical leaf prints or things like that. But don't forget when you're using lots of pattern like that, you kind of need to keep it, you need to calm it down too. Um, so maybe throw in a lovely cream throw, plain throw with a bit of fringing, which is also good for this look too. So just try and mix it up a little bit. And yeah, then going absolutely. into other rooms in the house, can we maybe take the tribal theme into the kitchen? Yeah, absolutely. Part of the tribal theme is being quite rustic and having lots of natural materials which really work well in a kitchen. Say for example you've got lots of wood on the worktops and shelving and then you want to bring in some lovely crockery with an artisanal feel. The pattern is like the geometric pattern, it's a monochrome scheme, really beautiful. I love that set, it's really, so really nice. nice. Yeah. Right, I'm going to put your expertise to work now Jane. As you can see we're already channeling the tribal theme right here in our lounge. Now the challenge now yep. is to add some finishing touch OK, so we're going to start with cushions, all right? So there are these cushions with this lovely safari animal print on them. And I wouldn't go too crazy with things like this. This is just great for adding a finishing touch. So, for example, if you've got a plain cushion, you can pair that with something like this. Oh, nice. I go. like that effect, because it's not too much. Exactly, and it adds a bit of fun. It really brings your sofa to life. And also, you mentioned that having throws on your bed and everything. Can Do you like throws on a sofa? Because I do. Oh, absolutely. I mean... As far as I'm concerned, a sofa is totally bare without a throw. So we've got this, for example. This See, is... I love this. Oh See, my now God, this, this ties in with the cushion. It does. This is so cosy. It is really, really nice. This screams of cuddling up on the sofa yep. watching a movie. So what you want to do is you want to throw it over the back and then in the evening when you're snuggled up and watching the TV, you just pull it off and there you go. Right, I've got a coffee table at home and my coffee table is completely bare. I'd like to... 
I'd like to put something on there that would tie in with everything you're showing me. What can I use? Absolutely. So you want to go for one key statement piece. And I've got here this really cute um, elephant object. It's so sweet. It's a lovely carving. And it's on top of a couple of books. It looks really sweet. So what you would like do that. is pop it like this in the centre of your coffee table. Perfect, you like the way it's all tying in. Right, what about the shelves? Because I've got shelves in my home. Yeah, me too. And you know what? I actually never know what to put on them or how to change them. I love dressing shelves. OK, so you can help me. OK. Right? So, to inject a bit more of a tribal theme to this shelving unit, I'm going to swap two pieces. I'm going to... Do you want me to take that? Yeah, take that. I'm going to change that for this lovely wooden vase. So, natural materials are really key to this look. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pop that there. Um, then next, Denise, could you just pass yes. me that cheese plant there? there so you we've go. got two. So I'm going to swap this with this lovely LED um, lantern here. And this is great. It's also got the rope detailing as well. And it's an LED candle, so it will just keep on... Keep going keep and it's going. safe as well exactly. if you've got young children. Exactly. I always so have LED go. lanterns and candles now. There you go. Do you know, Jane, I think that looks fantastic. Glad you like Loving it. Loving your work there. Right, what about our walls? How can we dress our walls? Right, I've got this lovely macrame wall hanging over here. Do you want me to hang it? Go on, you right, hang it. Right, go on then. You hang I it. I love being your assistant. <laughs> <laughs> I love having you as my assistant. Um, yeah, so this is like a revive trend. It used to be really big in the 70s. It kind of injects a bit of a boho vibe. So macrame actually means fringing, and it's like a knotting technique to make it, but it makes lovely decorative hanging pieces like this, wall hangings, or um, there, there's lovely plant, hanging plant macrame pieces that you can use as well. Jane, I love this. You've given me some great ideas. Thank you I'm so pleased. much. Wrapping up the show today is the moment I've been waiting for. My pick of the best hero pieces available right now. I'm here with Maxine Eggenberger from Look Magazine. And whilst it's been a tough job, I've managed to whittle down my picks of the season to three must-have items. Staples don't have to be boring. Oh, no. <laughs> right, I've chosen three things that I genuinely love and I want to yep. see if I got it right. I'm sure you so, did. first of all, is the khaki shirt. Cool. Now, I saw okay. this because I like a shirt. It's quite simple as well. And yeah. in particular, I like this because it's got this Lurex thread that goes through it, which is a metallic yeah. thread, which I thought was really nice and it catches the light. Yeah, definitely. It really kind of lifts the space to make it that little bit more special, but still really wearable. And yeah, you could always pair that with like a matching gold sandal. It would just look really pretty come summer. So, nice. Yeah, good shout. That's my favourite pick from cool. the shirt collection. So I've also gone for shoes. I Great. wanted to choose a pair of shoes that are comfortable. I do lots of running around. I needed to wear something that's flat, so I've gone for these mules. Yeah. Now, in particular, I like the grade suede effect. Yeah, they're stunning. Grey is such a lovely colour as well. It's really soft. It's a really nice alternative to black. So, yeah, great pick there. But the nude is also really versatile too. So, yeah, both amazing styles. Well now, done. both goes with everything. And then I wanted to inject some colour after this with the shoes, the shirt, and I thought, do you know what? I need to go for a bag... Something quite yeah. big. I needed a shopper because I'm always running around with my daughter. I've always got 101 things to carry, so I've chosen this. Yeah. I kept with the orange because you said that's big this season. You're and right. And I've gone with the suede again. Yeah, again, I agree with you. The suede is just a really nice alternative to leather. It's just so much lighter and just perfect for spring. But yeah, this is such a good style. It's so big that you're going to fit everything in it from your gym kit to your laptop to your beach towel for when you're on holiday. You're going to use this all summer. Right, my three, my three fashion picks. Did I get it right? Did I get a fashion tick? Yes, you did. A big tick. Yes. <laughs> yes. Good job. Thank you so much, Maxine. Well, it's been a great show, so thanks again to all of my guests for their expert help and advice. Now, be sure to tune in next time when I'll be joined on the sofa by some of my pals, Fern McCann, Kate Thornton and the lovely Matt Johnson. Until then, it's bye for now.